Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to use masking areas in conjunction with um, being able to lay things out in Illustrator and using masking areas from Photoshop. Um, so in Photoshop I have an image of a chair here and I want to be able to have that chair um, be just the chair so I could put it in Illustrator and just have the outline of the chair without having this white background behind it. This is also really handy if you have a floor plan that's not rectangular in shape and you want to just place that floor plan on a design board without having um, to have that white background behind it. So I'm going to select um, the background of my chair so that I have the background selected and then I'm going to go up to select and I'm going to go to inverse so I have just the chair selected. Um, and then right now this chair is on my background layer because it's just a JPEG. So I'm just going to double my click my background layer and change that to layer 0 just so it's not a locked layer. If it's on a locked layer this is not going to work. So I have just the one layer here I have my chair selected and on my layer panel here um, on the bottom I'm going to select this tool that's a rectangular and it has a circle in the center and it's called add layer mask. So I'm going to add layer mask and you should see this black and white drawing appear next to your image and you see that my um, background is now clear because uh, you can see the checkerboard behind it. So then I'm going to save this as a Photoshop drawing and so as a PSD so I'm going to save as and I'm going to select PSD put that in my folder where I can find it and say OK. All right, so then I'm going to go over to Illustrator and I just have a regular um, project open here and I'm just going to create a second layer so that I can put a background in here so that you can see um, what happens when I place my chair in front of it. So I'm just going to put a, a polygon shape on the top of my sheet here and just make that a color so that there's some obvious contrast. Okay, so then on my upper layer um, that's above my background, I'm going to go to File and then Place, and I'm going to go find my chair that I just made and saved in my folder. And so you can see there that the background behind my chair is clear, and I just have the chair sitting on my background. Now the other way I can use this mask is if I have um, an image in my background and I want to be able to crop some pieces out of that. So if I want to be able to place an image on here and then you know cut it into a shape like a circle or again a polygon or some other kind of square. <clears throat> so if I first find an image that I can use and I'm just going to copy an image and I'm going to paste it in place. And any image would work for this. So if you had, you know, if you have some kind of Photoshop image or if you have a graphic or, or anything like that. And so I have my image that's like that. And then I'm going to create a masking shape. So I'm going to use one of my shape tools over here and I'm going to select the ellipse. And I'm going to hold down my shift key so I get a perfect circle. And I'm just going to move that circle into, into place. Uh, I'm going to get rid of its fill. So I'm going to change it to no fill. And then I'm just going to select both um, my circle and my image that I have in the background. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say make clipping mask. And so you can see that that circle has now clipped out my image and left the image behind there. And I can go back and I can say release clipping mask and it goes back to normal. Um, you know, I can move my, my circle shape around if it, that wasn't quite uh, the right place for me to put that. Again, I can go to Mac, Make Clipping Mask, and now again I have that circle shape. So there's Clipping Mask. Uh, 